Next game on the board, LSU. we got to talk about your Tigers real quick. You know, this is one of those that we could have put for most to gain or most to lose here. LSU is a two-and-a-half point favorite in Starkville. They are 9-1 and one against the spread of their last 10 in Starkville. Sorry, sorry, 9-1 and one straight up, not against the spread. LSU, like, this is one of those matchups. You, you always talk about styles make fights, right? Sure. This is a matchup where I think LSU has a sizable advantage. I don't think they're passing. It should defense. favor us. Yes. It didn't last year, but it should favor us on what we do well and what they do poorly. Exactly. Mississippi State, not very good against the pass. They, I don't think that they will have a sizable advantage from their defensive line against LSU's offensive line. I don't believe that they will be able to take advantage of LSU's defensive line's woes, right? And now they do have a de- LSU's got a defensive lineman that's out for the season now. Anthony, God, I can't remember his name right now. But either way, beyond the point, LSU is not good at defending the run. Mississippi State does not run the ball. Like, that's not going to be an issue. What I'm curious about is these short to intermediate passes that Will Rogers likes to throw. They don't have a really explosive passing game. They, they kind of take forever to get down the field. But I also think that LSU's got some guys that can, you know, pin their ears back and get after the quarterback a little bit. I do think that LSU has an advantage in this game, and I think they're going to be pissed off after last year. I know everybody is talking about Mississippi State after what happened. They got hosed by the refs last week, blah, 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 blah. And that don't matter this week. Like, you cannot let the refs beat you two weeks in a row. I don't think it's going to matter. I think LSU's mad about what happened to them in their own house last year. I'm going to take LSU in this spot because, again, I think stylistically – this matchup suits them. I think they're going to win this by at least a touchdown, maybe double digits. So, I hope you're right. I, I, I think you are right, by the way. I do think we're the better team. I think we should win. And I think you're right. Everything you're saying, we can't run the ball. Well, they can't, you know, they, it don't matter. They can't stop the pass. We, we throw the football a lot. So, that's what we do. They can't run the ball. We can't stop the run, but we sure can stop the pass. And, and that's what they do. And so, Everything matches up to where to where we should be the better team and we should win and, and, and cover this game. It, it scares me. You talk about the most to lose. We don't win this game. I told you there's a world where we don't win an SEC game this year. Okay. I, I think possible. that world still exists. Yeah, no, it's, I really it's definitely there. I mean, because State could absolutely come out and, and have some kind of new game plan. They... they your defensive backs may still not be able to cover their uh, wide receivers. Who knows? But the way that it has shaped up thus far this season, I, all of all of LSU's weaknesses, State can't take advantage of. So, at, at least from yeah. what we have seen thus far. So, we yeah, have to get this win, and we have to get Arkansas, and then we got to pull a rabbit out of our ass somewhere else because I think all the other teams in the SEC that we play this year are better than us. LSU, a year. Maybe not Kentucky. Maybe not Kentucky. Maybe we can just out athlete Kentucky, but Kentucky's no joke, man. No, no, they're, they're absolutely not. Absolutely no they're joke. They're really good. Right but now, right now, Kentucky's better than us. The Bayou Bengals hosting Auburn next week. So, I mean, this is not exactly a look ahead spot for Mississippi State, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Both of us taking LSU minus two and a half. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.